Hey, I'm Eric and this is Golf for a Cause. What's the future of golf and charity look like? We're headed to Ballyhack Golf Club in Briggs Ranch to play with PGA Tour winner Lonto Griffin and three-time NBA champion Bruce Bowen. Let's see what all this Dormy Network fuss is about. Valley Hat Golf Club is a 2009 Lester George layout nestled in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains, just outside of downtown Roanoke, Virginia. Ballyhack is part of the Dormy Network, which operates six highly regarded courses across the country. The Dormy Network has made charity and giving back an integral part of their mission with the recent launch of the Dormy Network Foundation. We were invited here to be part of Lonto Griffin's charity tournament tomorrow. But today I couldn't pass up the opportunity to play this wildly fun course and experience their treacherous greens firsthand. <laughs> So part of the reason why I love Ballyhack so much is the goat track. We're out here on the second hole, which is normally a 540 yard par five, but we're playing it from 125 yards. You see the goat track is a par three routing on the actual routing of a championship top 200 golf course. I don't know of any other course that's that high in the rankings that does that. You can come out after 5 p.m., hang out with your buddies, drink some whiskey, and just have a good time. Just my kind of golf course. Right on it. The goat track, as well as the club's new logo, were inspired by my personal favorite part of Ballyhack, the goats. there too. Spin back. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, let's go in. <laughs> Just because the sun goes down doesn't mean the fun is over at Bally. You can kick back with a glass of whiskey outside one of their cozy casitas or even hit shots onto their 20,000 square foot 18th green well into the evening. The light wind and fall mist made for the perfect conditions to test one of the PGA Tour's best low ball hitters. <laughs> Lonto? We're here for your event, the Lonto Charity Classic. Are there any PGA Tour venues that are as beautiful as this place? There's not many. I mean, the fact that a, a course this beautiful is so close to home and, and accessible to me uh, is, is pretty amazing. A friend tells me that you can hit an incredible stinger. I've heard negative launch angle. We got a metal goat, his name's Chuck for what it's worth. He's 225 yards out there. Okay. I know you're coming off a red-eye flight. You're not really warmed up, but let's see if you can hit the goat. Coming off a red-eye flight, the stinger's probably, that'd be my go-to shot anyway, so. Right in your sweet yeah, spot. Yeah, this is my Perfect. sweet spot. Perfect, let's see it. All right, let's see it. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty damn close. Wow, that was perfect yardage. I think you landed that two and a quarter. That was a perfect distance. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you got that distance dialed in. Yeah. Want to try one with a big stick? Yeah, let's try that one. So this one's gonna come nowhere near Chuck. <laughs> Chuck needs to be a little further. Yeah, forget Chuck on this one. You might kill him if you hit yeah. him too, so. Oh. Get a little riser. Right. Let's see what, what you got. Yeah, let's, let's uh, see if I can get some of that Lonto mojo and see if I can hit a few. You're telling me to get steep with the driver. I feel like that's terrifying. Yeah, it's been terrifying my whole life. <laughs> Hit the little Lonto stinger. You can top it, it's okay. There's Kay. no cameras rolling. Okay. 
Wow. That was nice. That was real nice. That was sweet. Might be your new shot. I was gonna say, are you, are you available for lessons on like a regular basis? I would have happily stayed and hit stingers with Lonto all day, but the real reason we were in Virginia was to learn about Lonto's charitable initiatives. But before we could get too far, we ran into country music star Brantley Gilbert, who stopped by to play some golf and take a break from life on tour. I'll get over. Brantley, we're out here at Ballyhack Golf Club. Have you played here before? We have. We played here last year. Uh, brought my dad up and, and a couple of my guys. We, we've had a good time. So your golf game must pretty, be pretty good? No. No, <laughs> not at all. I'm, I'm trying my best to stand like a golfer right now. I've seen them do this overlapping hand. <laughs> yeah, you look good. So I know you're a busy guy. Your life is literally a nonstop tour. But you've chosen to come to Lonto Griffin's event at Ballyhack today and tomorrow. Like, why are you here? Why? Like, tell me about it. Man, I tell you what, I've been, I've been impressed with Lonto. Working with the terminally ill and, and, and their families and supporting them and then, you know, also supporting kids that, you know, maybe lower income or for whatever reason can't pursue sports the way they want to. I learned more playing sports, I think, than anything in my life. And, and uh, man, I, I can get behind that. That's easy to get behind. And he's an easy guy to get behind. He's an easy guy to get behind. Yeah. My job being what it is, we've had the opportunity to work with you know, tons of different charities, and that's that's one of the biggest blessings of my job. But man, God gave me more spotlight and more platform than I ever asked for, or ever dreamed of, or than I'll ever need. So, having having the ability to share it, it's uh, one of the biggest blessings of my job. That's awesome, man. Appreciate, Appreciate you, brother. y'all having me, man. Have fun out here. Oh okay, right. yeah, I'm gonna go try to find some balls. <laughs> if y'all ride behind us, you won't ever need a golf ball again. <laughs> While Brantley headed off in search of his golf balls, I stopped to chat with Lonto about his charitable initiatives. So Lonto, you're kind of relatively new PGA Tour player. You won the 2019 Houston Open. I'm curious to know why you've made, you know, philanthropic charitable initiatives such a big part of your life. Growing up, I, my family didn't have the means to support a junior career. Um, so I, I had a lot of people kind of lead the way for me, uh, Steve Prater, taught me for 17 years for free. So many members in Blacksburg and Roanoke have supported me, junior golf, amateur golf, collegiate golf, mini tours. 2014, 2015, I, I won my first Swing Thought event in Augusta. I was kind of like borderline having to quit just because I was running out of money. And I remember leaving there and being like, you know what, I think like the start of foundation. Like I felt I felt like I was big time. You know, I've, I, I just won this, on a mini tours and I won $20,000 and and I was like, we could, we could probably do some fundraisers. And, and now looking back on it, I was crazy to think it at the time, but now winning on the PJ Tour, I feel like I have a platform to where I kind of feel like I've always been taking from people and it's, it's time to start giving back. Your, your charitable trust focuses on helping families who are battling terminal illnesses mm -hmm. as well as underprivileged youth. Yep. Any, real, any reason you chose those two in particular? Yeah, so I lost my dad when I was 11 to brain cancer. Uh, it, was a, it was a tough time. Having that support at that vulnerable preteen, teenage years where you're kind of turning into a man, trying to learn the, the way of the world, it was monumental for me and I wouldn't be where I am today. So part of the reason why I want to give back is to say thanks to those people that helped me. That's awesome. Are there any specific stories that you can tell us about, ones that stand out to you of helping people? It was actually pretty cool. There was a girl in, in Houston. She reached out to me right after the 2020 Houston Open. And I was playing in my first Masters. I think it was like Tuesday she emailed me. She got a lot of pain, basically. And she just wrote a huge long email telling me about how I was her hero and that, you know, it was the best week of her life being able to come out and watch for a couple hours. And that was pretty eye-opening, is that I was frustrated. I think I finished 58th. And it was, it was a frustrating week, but I was at Augusta and I'm like, I'm frustrated finishing 58th. And this girl just, she didn't ask for anything. She, she just wanted to basically write me and say thanks for playing in Houston. It brings you back to kind of that, it's, it's a good wake up call. Yeah. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this into a little charity. All right. Okay. You're playing from here, it's about 300 yards. I'm playing from the go track, which is the par three rally, so it's a bit full. Right. We're gonna play it straight up. How many, no strokes? I no strokes. strokes. All right. Straight up. You're asking me for strokes? No, I was gonna get a stroke, yeah. You're, you're teeing up, <laughs> how, many, how far up are you I playing? thought that would make it even, yeah. I'm a bit up. All right, we'll, we'll play it. So here's the way it works. If you beat me, I'll make a donation to your charitable trust. Okay. If I beat you, you make a donation to the Dormy Network Foundation. Deal. 
Okay. Oh. Bunker. I think, yeah, great side bunker. So, Lonzo, you were 300 yards out. Yeah. I'm playing the go track. Which, which is 50, 58 yards. 58 yards. Yeah. And you wanted to have a fair bet where you wanted to, like, <laughs> I get it for charity, but you could at least make it somewhat fair. Like, put me at 200. <laughs> like, I, was, I, I spent the whole night on the airplane. I got like two hours of sleep. Your swing still looks pretty damn good. It though. doesn't feel that great. <laughs> Talk me through the shot. Yeah, I'm thinking a low checker, kind of off that left slope. I noticed how you got one of my my Pro Vs there. You didn't use the, the NXT that you had. Yeah, I want the spin. So you wanted the spin. So yeah. you're using my ball yeah. from 240 yards further up yeah. to take money off me. Well, it's for charity. Okay, it's fine. It's for I'll, charity. I'll allow, yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. It's a bit hard. Oh, it's perfect. I have no chance. That might go in. Might go in. That might go in the go hole. Go in the hole. Oh my God. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that was first take. That was first take. That was first take. <laughs> that was filthy. Thank you. So. Lonto. That's not good. Put a mark on it? Oh yeah. 100%. Fair. They didn't give that to me yesterday. So I'm not giving it to you today. Go in. Go in. Oh. <laughs> you gonna give that to me? Yes. Wow, it's generous. Really generous for a PGA Tour player. So <laughs> I'm just gonna walk through what you don't wanna do on three footers, okay? <laughs> so when you're walking in, you don't wanna visualize it lipping out. Definitely like don't think about what you're gonna eat for dinner tonight. Like. Like what you're gonna watch on that. You just really don't want to have anything other than the back of the mm -hmm. hole in your mind. All right, good focus. Congrats. So, thanks, buddy. Whatever you need me to donate, I will. I appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate thanks that, for having man. me out. Hell yeah, that was awesome. After a full weekend in Southern Virginia with Lonto and Brantley, it was time to get back on the road to check out another dormy course, Briggs Ranch. This time with three time NBA champion Bruce Bowen. But we're saving that for the next episode. For now, I had a long road trip ahead of me. Well, it's time to say goodbye, goats. Lone Star State, here we come. Make this, Eric, or you want me to just like? Yeah. <laughs> Do I want you to make this? <laughs> That's like the swaggiest comment I've ever heard. In my yeah, life. no, I knew I knew it wasn't gonna work out well. But, it, <laughs> but if I did make it after saying that comment, it would have been way cool. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's like the guy that's on par three, and every time he says, "You know what? I think I'm gonna make a hole one." And you say it every single time, and you get on camera, and eventually you make it, and you look like a genius. You know, you <laughs> called it. Yeah, but he also looks like a total dork. Yeah, because he says it the every time. millions of times he doesn't do it, yeah. There you go. That's the Garrison Brothers six-footer. Yeah, I like that. Wow!